What in the hell is going on in East Palestine, Ohio? That's maybe one of the biggest questions of the moment. You see, you can see right here what's left of a 150 train car pileup. Those trains, many of them filled with hazardous chemicals. And what do they do with the hazardous chemicals? Well, as you might guess, they blew them up because they said they were too hazardous. And in East Palestine, now, despite all of these continued objections from the government who says the air is safe and the water is safe, people are in ill health. And it's not just people who are in ill health. I'm going to show you a whole lot more, and I want you to react to what you think about what's happening in East Palestine below. But watch this. This is the moment when they decided that this is just too dangerous. All these chemicals, these forever chemicals, had to be blown up to make everybody more safe. Here it goes. And you could see that there was a huge fireball that erupted. They had evacuated about a mile's worth of distance from here. But look at that cloud. You know what's in that cloud? A whole bunch of terrible, noxious chemicals. I don't understand how the governor can keep coming out and assuring everybody, hey, it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong here. But that's what the Ohio governor continues to do. Here is Mike DeWine talking about how, hey, the air's totally safe. Uh, we had sent in members of the Ohio National Guard and, and, and had, their, had their protective suits on uh, to measure the air. Uh, and no one went back within that area or was allowed back in that area until they could come back and tell us that the monitoring was consistently good. Uh, in fact, the monitoring showed that the air was basically what it was prior to the actual train. Oh, wow, so the air was right back to normal. No problem, nothing wrong. You don't have anything to worry about, except all over Eastern Palestine in Ohio, people were finding weird things like this. This woman in North Lima, found her chickens, and they were dead. They were alive before the controlled explosion, but afterwards, not so Walked much. Walked up to a cage, and this this is what I found. Amanda Brashears was going to feed her five hens and rooster this morning when she discovered them all lifeless, practically in the same position, with no signs of a predator entering their enclosure. So she says she saw them live, live just before this, and then after this controlled explosion, which is what I showed you here, she said she goes back and all of her chickens are dead. She blames that controlled explosion on the, uh, or blames the, the death of these chickens on that explosion. And there's more. Here's somebody videotaping officials who are scooping up all the dead fish. Right here. Just you waiting scooping through. out all the dead ones. So if everything's fine, if there's nothing to worry about, as the Ohio governor says, why are there all a bunch of dead fish? And why did Amanda lose her chickens? What the hell's going on here? To make things even more infuriating, it was worse. It wasn't just chickens and fish. There were cats and dogs and all kinds of other animals that were suffering in the aftermath of this issue. Uh, others were in poor condition with their faces swollen, stomachs upset, and eyes watering. One person's dog, who hadn't returned home until after the evacuation order was lifted, has begun coughing and gagging. But don't worry, the air is clearer than it's ever been. Now, here is perhaps one of the most insane things. They said, Andrea Belden noticed her two-year-old cat. This is a young cat, Leo, laid motionless, heart racing, and his breathing labored. He remained that way overnight. Leo was found to have congestive heart failure. And they said his liver enzymes shot up 690%. She would have had to pay $18,000 to keep going and get the vet to tell her, oh, I assure you, it had nothing to do with this. Now, Norfolk Southern, they're the people who are responsible for this train that left this mess behind in East Palestine, Ohio. And that, friends, is a big burning mess. And it's going to be nasty and it's going to affect things for a very long time. So what are they going to do for the people of East Palestine? Well, check this out. After the derailment, the Norfolk Southern train had to undergo a controlled burning in order to safely release the cargo's toxic chemicals. Before this was done, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine issued a one-mile evacuation zone surrounding the crash site. Norfolk Southern has been tasked to clean up the mess. 
After an initial $25,000 donation to the community, the company said they would give $1,000 inconvenience checks to residents within the evacuation zone. They've also offered to reimburse expense receipts for residents within East Palestine. Let me tell you, friends in East Palestine, do not take these checks unless you have an attorney look at them. Because in taking these checks, you may be possibly waving away your right to go after Norfolk Southern moving forward. What do you think about what's happening here? What do you think about the air and the water in East Palestine, Ohio? This doesn't seem like something that you're going to want to go very close to and start breathing. Not to me. Does it to you? Let me know. Facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit follow YouTube.com slash the news junkie. Hit subscribe. Thanks for watching as always.